The so-called Disney classics need a PG warning and don't let your kids watch them alone. That's the call of a US professor in American studies and hot on the heels of Disney's new streaming services adding a disclaimer to a number of its earlier films including Dumbo and Peter Pan. The disclaimer reads, this program is presented as originally created. It may contain outdated cultural depictions. Dumbo, for example, features a crow called Jim Crow, a derogatory expression for African American and also a shorthand reference for laws that enforced racial segregation. Psyche williams Forson, the chair of the American Studies Unit at the University of Maryland, says the racist and sexist symbolism of the Disney classics were in keeping with the time. At the time that Disney was uh, putting out and releasing those particular um, shows, Dumbo, for example, The Jungle Book, things like that. I mean, it was a time in which um, depictions of people of color, and I mean in general, African Americans, black and brown skinned people, um, or black and brown identified people, were seen as less than human, um, inferior. Um, they were caricatures, they were stereotypes, and Disney was speaking to the moment. So that phrase, Psyche, it may contain outdated cultural depictions. Is that a polite way of saying that it's racist? Absolutely. It's a a polite way of saying it's racist. And, you know, therein lies the problem. I mean, outdated cultural depictions. I mean, you know, a lot of the people who might be watching these, some children and young adults of this generation, may not even know what that means. Um, outdated cultural depiction. And that could be anything. Um, And so, I mean, outdated cultural depictions can be um, stoves and kitchens of another era, quite frankly. What character, what Disney character or movie would you consider to be, well, the most offensive then from those eras? Oh, wow. Which one do I consider to be the most offensive? Um, I think from that era, I would say something like Jungle Book, where, let's be clear, you have this little brown-skinned boy uh, in the jungle, but he's considered a jungle animal, right? Um, You know, I grew up seeing Tarzan and everything and, and Jane, and if I, to see it today, I have a totally different understanding of it than I did back then, right? So many of these images we saw as, white heroes saving brown-skinned people or, you know, brown-skinned people being treated uh, unfairly and so forth. And we we took it as, oh, okay, that's what happens. But when you see that today, it's highly offensive. And you can, you read something different into it today. Disney is considered to be quite a wholesome brand. Would you be happy for a child you know to sit down and watch these movies without an adult with them to explain and discuss the content? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And and those are two, interestingly, if I may, those are two interesting pieces you put together there. They're a wholesome brand, allegedly. Um, they are a family brand, right? Um, and so one would expect that they would promote family issues and and activities, okay? But no, I would not be comfortable with my, my child, for example, sitting down to watch any of that without some sort of mediation and explanation. Hey, listen, let me tell you, when I was growing up, my parents sat us down and explained them to us. So we knew better in the 60s and 70s. So if, if, if our parents did that work back then, how much more do you need to do that work now? So basically these, these um, movies, they need an R rating. They need a preve- pre- parental guidance rating or, or something similar. Absolutely. Absolutely. They need some sort of PG-13, just like any other show today that may have profanity or sexuality or things like that that you want your children to be careful about seeing. Um, You need that same kind of energy, you know, around these images because they're 
as insidious and as problematic. We have obviously talked a lot about racism here, but obviously there are other issues, like it's always the blonde princess that gets the guy, not not the girl with the brunette hair who's working in the kitchen. And it's always the girl who who has to get the guy, right? As if women are unable to function without the saviour. They talk about creating an illusion and creating, you know, this kind of magical experience. Well, for whom is it magical? And that Psyche Williams-Forson there talking about the so-called Disney classics.